Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, The Tech Coders, and today we are going to solve question number one eight seven seven B of Code Forces that is helmets in nightlight, and which was the part of Code Forces round nine zero two division two. Okay, so let's understand what exactly question is stating to us. Question is states that there is a village and there is a chief of that village, and there are n residents in that village. Okay, so in some night, chief wants to pass some information to each of the residents. Again, that is n residents. So the chief can pass information in two ways. That is. The chief can go to each one's house and give information and cost for giving information to each person by chief is P. Okay. Or the chief can do one thing that is he can give information to some of the residents of that village and those residents can pass on information to others. Okay. But there is a one condition that is a particular resident can pass information to at most AI that is max to max AI people and the cost of passing information is BI. Okay. Chief wants to pass this information in such a way that the cost for passing information is minimum, and we are supposed to find that minimum cost. Okay, so let's try to understand this with the help of an example. So this is the test case. This is the first test case basically. Okay, so there are n people. That is, there are six people in a village, and the cost of chief for passing information is three. Okay, so these are the AIs. That is, each person can pass information to at most this people. Okay, and this is the cost. And this is the cost. So at first, let's forget about this minimum point of view. Okay, just let's understand how we can pass information to them. Okay, the first case can be like this. I'm saying that this chief can pass information to each of them. Okay, the chief will visit each one's house and then he will pass information to them. Okay, so what will the cost at that time? That is six into three, because number of resident in a village is six and the and the cost of passing information by chief is three, so it is going to be eighteen. Okay, I'm saying that no, yeah, I don't want this way. But we can do one thing that is the chief will pass information to the first one, and then the first one will pass information to third, third to second, second to six, six to third, and then to the last. Okay, so what will the cost at that time? That is, chief is passing information to the first one, so at that time I'll count as three, three plus. Four plus three plus two plus six plus three plus six. It is going to be twenty-four. Okay, three plus twenty-four is equals to twenty-seven. So there will be so many such combinations of passing information to each of them, and we have to find a combination where the cost is minimum. So, so now let's try to get that point. Okay, it is explained in test case only that as initially I am giving information to the third person, to the fifth person, and to the sixth person. Okay. Then this third person is giving information to the second one, and it is giving inf information to the first one, and this second one is given giving information to the fourth one. Okay, now you can see that each of them is having the information with them, and the cost over here is going to be sixteen, and the cost over here is going to be sixteen. How sixteen? Let's break it out. Okay, initially the chief gave information to third, fifth, and sixth. Okay, so it is gonna be three into three because there are three people who are getting the information, and the cost for passing each information is three over here. Okay, plus the third person is giving information to the first person and the second person. This is the third person. Okay, and the cost for giving information is two. So as it is giving information to two, so two into two that is the cost. Plus the second person is giving information to the fourth person. Okay, the cost of giving information by the second person is three. So it is going to be one into three. Now, if you let them, you will get answer as sixteen. Okay. So we are supposed to find such combinations. So now the question arises: What to do further? Okay. I'm just saying that it is very simple question. All you have to do is to just make three simple observations. Okay. The first observation is going to be like this: That is, just to pass the information, the chief should at least give information to one of them. After that, we'll see whether the chief is passing information to each of them or that person is passing information to others. Simple. But just as to initiate the conversation or the process, the chief should give information to the at least one of them. This is the first observation. Now understand second one. Over here, see this first person. Okay. The cost of giving information by the chief is three, and the cost of giving information by the first person is four. Okay. So does it make any sense if I ask the first person to give information further because it is taking more cost and I want minimum cost? Okay. So what can I say that when in any case if a person is taking more cost than the chief cost, then at that time I'll ask my chief to pass information to further on. Okay. I'll not ask that person. This is my second observation. And my third observation is like C over here. 
initially i was having six people with me who were supposed to get the information as the chief give information to the three people it get reduced to three after that the third person give information to the first and the second person it get reduced to one then the second person give information to the fourth person and it get reduced to zero which means that each of them is having some information okay so now we are done with these three observations and now let's move to the next part that is as i want my answer to be minimum as i want my answer to be minimum it is obvious that i should pass information to those people who are having minimum cost simple so how to get that minimum value i am saying that just do one thing that is make the pairs of at most number and the cost at most number and the cost at most number and the cost and sort them in a increasing order and sort them in a increasing order and after sorting them just do that that is i'll give information to the minimum one then he will pass the information to other guys and it will keep on moving each of them is not having news in their hands okay so now let's directly jump into the coding part you will get the exact logic what i'm trying to say right now okay so see this is the code okay there are n people so i'm taking the input of n number this is p that is the cost for passing information by the chief okay so i'm taking their input after that this is vector a that is at most one so yeah i'm taking their input now see this is a tricky part which is supposed to be understood what i'm doing i'm making a vector b which is having pair inside it which is having pair inside it and what i'm doing at that time i'm making pair of cost and at most number cost and at most number now here comes my second observation that is if the cost of giving information by a particular person is greater than the cost of the chief okay so at that time i will ask my chief to pass information okay so i will i go to that person so this is what i am doing over here i am just taking the minimum of p and element okay and we are making it pair with the at most number after that this is my first observation that is my chief will pass information to the first person okay and after passing the information to the first person i'll be left with n minus 1 it is obvious when one is having information so i'm having n minus 1 who, who are not having information with them so this is what i'm doing over here i'm having n minus 1 answer is going to be the sum of the cost and remaining is the number of people who are not having information with them okay so this is what i'm doing over here i'm just updating my answer and i'm just updating my remaining people this is the cost and this is the number of people to whom the information is required to be transferred okay and when i have given information to this of this people i'll be left with this one it's obvious that remaining minus the number of people who are having information so this is what we are updating and we are doing over here and after performing all these actions we are simply printing our answer that's it nothing much so yeah guys this was the solution i hope you understood all the logic and the intuitions over here okay and if you are having any query in your mind then just feel free to ask and you can comment over there i will definitely help you to come out of it okay so yeah thank you for watching and have a good day